What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfacts.net, and we are inside of Visual Studio, and we're taking off from our lesson number 10, which y'all can find uh, or see right here. And we've got a question coming in from Tia Jason. Can you please show me how to make program to upload file like this website? And uh, to where only where I say upload your IPTV playlist. And so basically they want something similar to this right here to where whenever you upload it, it basically tells you that uh, if it's not the correct thing, then to give an error back. I'm not giving back this error. This right here you got to do on your own. However, we're going to be looking at the file to make sure that the file is the proper thing. And considering the fact that they are uploading an IPTV list, it's definitely not a PNG list. And so that's what we're getting ready to do. And you have to have watched the lesson 10 uh, in order to be able to follow along. So please click on the link right here. Go watch lesson 10 and then come and start doing this. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is that we want to work inside of our default.aspx.vb file. And what we're going to do is that we're going to come right up here to the top and then we're going to bring that down and we're going to type in the following code now i'm not doing this by memory i'm actually looking over at it on my other screen instead of me just copying and pasting it in here i'm going to actually type it all out so let's go ahead and get started so we got a dim correct extension as bullion uh, equals okay right here is where you want to type in the file type that you only want to allow and since she only wants to allow the IPTV so I'm assuming that that is what it's called. So it's going to be .iptv is the only file that she's going to allow to come in. So then we're going to, whoops, close it. Okay, now we're going to jump down here to um, right below our next. And we're going to check and see if the extension is correct. Then we're going to be able to do the rest of our code. So we're going to check if correct extension. Then. Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to take this end if. Okay. This end if is for that one. However, we've got an end if up here. So we got to double our end ifs. So we're going to copy this one. We're going to come all the way down to the very end of our file. And then we're going to paste it in. And then paste it in again. So now we've got two end ifs so that everything is happy up here. If you didn't put two end ifs down here, like if we would have forgotten this one, then we would come up and we would have had this blue line up underneath here because it has to have a matching end if at the end in order for it to compile. All right, now let's save our project and let's come over here to our default.aspx page. And so the first thing we want to do here is that we want to add in some styling. So we've got, so we'll already have our styling done. And uh, so let's go ahead and do that first. Let's do style type. And then we're going to do that one right there. And then jump down. Okay, we want to do ul dot. Okay, so that finishes our style sheets. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. We're going to do UL, done that, class, and now let's do equals, and we're going to do wrapper. Okay, so now we're going to come over here, do LI class, and then we're going to choose wrap. Okay, so our first thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to add in 
our upload button is going to go here and our text is going to go here as well then we're going to come down we're going to do li and then we're going to do class equals then we're going to grab a hold of our butt and then we're going to add in our send and then we're going to come down to our last one and then this one right here it's not going to have any style sheet added to it. We're going to add that there. Now, we've got two more items that we need to add to our project in order to complete this. So let's go ahead and save this so that that's done. Let's go over here to design view. Okay, I was trying to hunt for something that is not here. The reason why it's not here is because I've actually got our debug running. So, yeah. Our debug is running, so make sure that your debug is stopped. And then, voila, we get all of these goodies right here. So, what we want to do first is that we want to come over here and we want to put in a required field, required field validator. Double click it and then double click our regular expression validator so that both of them are in there. So, now let's come over here and go into our source view and then. we will have it right here okay so I actually want to copy it and then we want to bring it down here to the bottom of our div tag okay now what we want to do here is that we want to add in some extra um, commands inside of our validators so let's come over here at the end of our run server and we want to add in control to validate i'm going to add in equals and it's going to be fill my file okay so now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to add in a validate group and we want to do up and then we're going to come over here and we're just going to type in all capital letters required. Uh -huh. G U I E R D. I thought I spelled it wrong. So, anyway, uh, so that takes care of our required field validator. Now we want to do our expression. So, let's move this over a little bit. We want to come over here. We want to type in basically the same thing at our beginning. We want to control to validate and we want to fill my file I want to come out of that and then we want to go to validate group and it's going to be up and now on our error message we're going to type in the following information so uh, in her case she's uploading the IPTV files so let's come back over here and we're going to put in IPTV files only and then we're going to type in the rest of all this information so we're just going to grab a hold of our IPTV is all we're going to grab a hold of here so that takes care of that okay now what we're going to do is that we're going to add in a validation expression let's go ahead and add that in and we're going to type in the following hold down the shift key and hit that six give you a little triangle thing then we're going to type in the following a to z and then a to z then we're going to close it add a little sideways happy face there and then we're going to do w2 and then with a close money sign with a question mark Where's my question mark at? Okay, now we're going to come over here and do this one. Slash W. Slash W. Close it. Star. And then do dot IPTV bar dot capital IPTV. And then add the money sign to the end and everything goes right we should be able to run this so let's come over here and do google chrome 
Okay, this is our page running. Let's go ahead and shrink it. This is our folder. Let's come over here and let's do, whoops, let's come over here and choose a file. We're going to choose mylist.iptv. Click on it. And now we're going to choose send. And there we go. Just send it here into our username folder with its uh, number. So you can choose another file and send it as well. And it's going to save it as a different number. So all of your files are always going to be different. Just like I explained in the lesson 10. So let's say that we come over here and we're going to choose an image file. Okay. We're going to click on send. It's not going to send it over here. So, I mean, it's going to tell them. You can come in here and you can make this warning right here. You can actually make the warning to where the warning is a red. That's basically how you do it. So, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net on how to make it to where you can only upload certain file types within your ASPX page. All right. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.